The U.S. Federal Reserve, Fed, will proceed carefully with its plan to hike interest rates this year despite the war in Ukraine, with the first hike of zero. 25 percentage points still expected at the Fed's next meeting in March, Fed Chair Jerome Powell said during a hearing in Congress today. We can. Bitcoin, BTC, jumped from around 43 US dollars, 500 to almost 44 US dollars, 970 prior to the testimony as written remarks by Powell started to circulate. At 1733 UTC, BTC traded at 44 US dollars, 160 and was up almost 2% in a day and 15% in a week. Despite being committed to following the plan for the first rate hike, however, Powell was less clear about later rate hikes when asked by members of the House of Representatives Financial Services Committee. It is highly uncertain how the war in Ukraine will affect monetary policy in the U.S. going forward, Powell said. However, he noted that he still believes it is appropriate to move ahead because inflation is too high. We continue to expect inflation to decline over the course of the year as supply constraints ease and demand moderates because of the waning effects of fiscal support and the removal of Monet. Moreover, Powell said that if inflation does not come down, the Fed will be prepared to raise rates by more than zero. 25 percentage points at one or more meetings in order to get price increases under control. Meanwhile, the situation in Ukraine was also touched upon by Powell in his opening statement, where he said that the implications of the war for the U.S. economy are uncertain, while adding that the Fed is monitoring the situation closely. There may well be unintended and unexpected effects. P. Overall, however, the impact will probably be small, but it is hard to predict what the second-order effects will be, Powell said. Despite the uncertainty, the Fed chairman reiterated the central bank's intention to raise interest rates at the next scheduled meeting on March 16. Asked if Russia could potentially use crypto assets as a way to evade sanctions, Powell said this is something you read about and hear about, before noting that a regulatory framework would help to prevent this. There isn't in place the regulatory framework that needs to be there. A framework should be in place to make sure crypto cannot be used for criminal purposes and to evade sanctions, Powell opined. As reported, finance ministers from the G7 and EU are working on preventing Russia from using crypto assets to circumvent sanctions, 